In this tutorial, I shall be explaining about optical fiber. So, as it is a part of the refraction of light series, so we know that what is refractive index and this optical fiber is the replacement, new replacement of this current world uh, within the electric wire. So, previously, uh, right now, the, the information is communicating and passes through in form of light energy. So, we need to know ensure how these things is going on so this is an optical fiber though it's a very thin like human hair but it acts actually in this way through the total internal reflection and that is why in my previous video i explained about the critical angle and the total internal reflection so if you know what is this now is the time to understand how this optical fiber is working so when when we, we, we think about it when from the denser media to rarer media that light falls then this angle is known as critical angle this is actually the denser medium and this is actually the rarer medium because we know that the critical angle forms in the denser medium so when is theta c then we must know the angle of the refractive angle is 90 degree for that reason if we want to know that this sine theta c we know this is actually n2 and n1 so what is the main purpose is that this theta c is actually sine inverse n1 by n2 because i explained already here so what's going on inside the optical fiber the it, it has a two types of layer like inside this place is known as core of the optical fiber so this is the area it's known as core and this area in both sides is known as the clad so it is it is it is made like this way that the refractive index of the center of the optical fiber which is known as core would be more than the clad so you see that inside the core the refractive index is 1.50 which is greater than the refractive index of the clad as because that it can create a critical angle so that it will have more angles of incident angle that will be easier to reflect it inside which is absolute example of total internal reflection how it is happening think about this theta c if it is critical angle then this is actually n2 that is the refractive index of core which is greater than the refractive index of clad so now what is going on we know that uh, sine theta c is actually n1 by n2 in my previous video i explained or of course you know that so sine theta c is actually sine inverse n1 by n2 now you think this theta c is sine inverse this is n1 which is the refractive index of clad divided by the refractive index of core so it would be 1.45 by 1.50 so what would be the uh, answer which is 1.45 so uh, divided by 1.50 which is 0 0.97 so we can say this is sine inverse 0 0.97 so it would be that um, shift sign answer so it's more or less 75.16 degree 75.16 degree this should be the angle of incident in case of optical fiber so if the light rays is actually this theta c when this theta this theta the angle is greater than 75.16 degree then the light will reflect into this angle again so here we see this angle of course this also 
more than 75.16 degree so we check every time when inside the incident angle is more than 75.16 degree that means total internal reflection is going on and through this process light is passing through a huge speed like 2.99 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second and for that reason the communication process is being developed in this recent world so each and everywhere that we can see also in case of endoscopy the uses of these things through the optical fiber so speed of light is being used here so total internal reflection and the properties of light is being used here to pass as the communication is in a huge speed so as we know that absorption of light in this medium is less so the wavelengths becoming so high so infrared is being passed through this wave as light and this total internal reflection is happening each and every moment inside the uh, optical fiber so this optical fiber is very thin like human here it has two different space like inside is a core and outside is a covering is called clad and you must know that the refractive index of clad is less than the refractive index of core and that is why the 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 critical angles forms into the core so when light passes through in the core the it is maintained that the angle of incident is greater than 75 degree or even 76 degree so this is very simple i hope you understand the process and the working behavior of the uh, the optical fiber and the optical fiber you must know two things which is core and clad and what is the critical angle should be and what should be the angle of incident in case of optical fiber so i hope you understand well in my next video i shall upload about prism and rainbow and binocular and then we'll talk about lens about concave and convex lens so take care stay well